Bonjours, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to Nova Etis, a, bo a mode for Mountain Blade Warband. My name is Yvon Ducharme, and I am here to explore the world in the for the better glory of France. So let's us uh, um, get started, no? Welcome, adventurer, to Vorband Nova Etis. In the next steps, you will create your character and story. Let's first introduce a new Caradia to you. I have never heard of this land Caradia. Admittedly, after leaving France at the behest of King Louis, to explore new lands, uh, I was hit by a storm, and I do not know how I came to this uh, place, uh, this um, Caradia, the year of our Lord, 1423. They must have a different calendar than us, no? It is, uh, is it not the 16th century? Eh. More than a thousand years after the fall of the, um, the great Empire. A new era has begun for Caradia. Scholars have found new ways to gather knowledge, kings to gain and maintain power, merchants to become richer and influential. The once fearful Kurgit Khanate is crumbling, and Yet the kingdoms of Caradia are fighting each other, overlooking a great danger lurking from the east, or from moi. I will conquer this land, yes. The Dark Ages have ended. It's time to enlighten all of us. The Renaissance has begun. It's a time of rebirth, classical sources teach us to optimize architecture, art, science, music, and let us think out philosophical ideas, views, and opinions. As I can think what they like, so, it, so long as it does not hinder the plans of the great kingdom of France. In the last decade, the once fearful Nordic kingdom has fallen apart. Bitterness, wrath, and deep religious disunity predominate. Shall one man stand up and unite the Nordic people under one banner, one king, and one faith again? Which man is capable, and will it be Christian or pagan? They still make pagans. I thought they were extinct. Furthermore, an ancient empire, almost forgotten and doomed, to be in an isolated place. The Mithridian Empire is starting to take its last breath. The great schism between the emperor and the pope uh, are they talking about our Pope or some other Pope? I, I do not know. Uh, since uh, 1054, an unfortunate fact has left a legacy of distrust and disapproval. A four centuries old law prevents outsiders from entering the islands, but the Emperor is now in deep need of help from these Western nations, the Muslims, are nearly invincible. Shall this once great empire, once called the Karedic Empire, continue to survive? Ah, they have Muslims here too? Incroyable! Moreover, Sultan Abdul Hamed promulgated a decree which forbids every Christian to enter the holy city 
of Haro Solima, without permission of the local mayor. This has led to shock and widespread vexation among the Christian world. How will the Pope in Adurias react to this? Hmm. I am a bit concerned about the Muslims that could prove problematic for me. But perhaps I will crush them, eh? Nothing is stronger than the pride of France. During the year, the early years of this century, rich merchants have resurrected the long forgotten town of Zendar. The Dodge leads this merchant republic. The harbor of this town is the gateway to the west. Explorers with ships have done the greatest discovery of these times. There is more than Caradia only. There is land to the west. This all has proven Zendar to be one of the prosperous towns on this world. It is time for you to begin your adventure. Oui, it is time. Mon Dieu, I am a man. Can you not see my manly features, no? Uh, though I perhaps I tell you a bit about Yvonne. Yvonne was born many years ago. My father was... Uh, hmm. Well, we do have uh, ancestry of uh, nobility, so perhaps a uh, baron fallen into disgrace. But I serve at the court of King Louis, and uh, perhaps one day reclaim great uh, inheritances of my forebears, no? You came into this world a son of a declining nobility. Your father has fallen into disgrace and lost his title. However, despite your family hardships, they afforded you a good education and trained you from childhood for the rigors of aristocracy and life at court. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. Your main interests are in the field of um, Farming, crafting, philosophy, worship, buying and selling goods for profit, crafting, farming. Yeah, I would say I'm more of them, um, more of the uh, crafter. As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprenticed with a local craftsman to learn a trade. After years of hard work on study under your new master, you became skilled in your trade. However, it is hard to preserve a decent quality of life, no? Furthermore, during your teenage years, you start exploring your identity, your personality, and ideas turn out to be rather um, patriotic. As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprentice to local craftsmen to learn a trade. After years of hard work and study, under your new master you become uh, skilled in your trade. However, it's hard to preserve a decent quality of life, no? Then, as a young dolph, life changed as it always does, you became a... Uh, I suppose you could say I'm a squire of sorts. I did serve at the court of King Louis. Though not quite a squire, to be sure. <laughs> Though the distinction feels sudden to you, somewhere along the way you become a man. And the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were named squire to a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, 
learning how to deal out hard knocks on how to take them, too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord, and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassal. But in addition to learning the chivalric idea, you also learn about the less uplifting side, old warrior stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayers and usurpations, of men who use guile as well as valor to achieve their aims. But soon everything changed, and you decide to strike out as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was? Well, I suppose a certain wanderlust of sorts. Hungry for power? Hmm, perhaps. I do wish for fame and glory. Eh, why not? Power! Glory! <laughs> Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. However, you know you cannot go back. There is nothing to go back to. Whatever home you may have had is gone now. And you must face the fact that you're out in the wide world, alone to sink or swim. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. I have the right to bear a banner. Hmm. Which one speaks to me, I wonder? Perhaps. Men no. 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 Hmm. Ah, the lions, uh, they do not speak to me. I will take this banner as a reminder of my time in France. Yvonne Duchamp. Want to be able to hit people, yes. Hmm. A little bow proficiency does not hurt, nor a little tread. It is good to take prisoner. Hmm. Some more archery. One well, must be able to find their path, yes. Hmm. Très bon. I shall return once I have found the right face. No. Au revoir. Ah, très bien. I am quite the looker, no? All right. We are done here. <laughs> Religion makes a... Eh? Big deal in Caradia, buying goods or items in towns that do not share your religion gives a plus 50% price penalty. The kingdoms of Swedia, Vagars, Rodox follow the word of Christ. Son of God, fully divine and fully human, and Savior of humanity as prophesied in the Old Testament. The Saranids listened to the prophet who was the last he sent. They believe. Their faith 
is a complete and universal version of the primordial faith that was revealed at many times and places before. The Nords have their own pagan gods, like the hammer-wielding, humanity-protecting god Thor, who unrelentingly pursues his foes. The one-eyed, or raven-flanked god Odin, who craftily pursues knowledge throughout the world and bestowed among humanity the runic alphabet. Since the Khanate has invaded Caridia a few centuries back, they have introduced Tendriism. This is not one single faith, but a name for a religion characterized by features of shamanism, animism, totemism, both polytheism and monotheism, and ancestor worship. Well, there is a lot of isms in this, yes. <laughs> there is only one faith left. It's not an official religion endorsed by the nation. It's Judaism, the oldest faith of all. Since the Karedic Empire has burned down their great temple a long time ago, they spread out over Karedia. Now your childhood is over. Your parents learned you to, uh, well, I suppose, to follow the words of Christ, Son of God. <laughs> However, at a certain point in your life, you decide to follow the traditions and habits of your ancestor. You choose to follow. I am a Catholic, as is uh, King Louis himself. Then you finally set your foot into the world of Caridia, ever as an old man full of life, experience, or a young man, young adult of great vitality. Please choose your age. Well, I am a vigorous young youth. Yeah, I am young and vigorous. Yvonne Duchamp. And here I am, mon ami. Hmm. Where am I now? Ah, so these are the lands of Caridia. Hmm. Perhaps... I use these uh, warring factions to the advantage of moi? Ah, we see what happened. Mm, this are dumb. Ah, the, the paper states have um, a place here, no? Incroyable! Merchant Republic. Well, this is very interesting. Targoon Horde. I wonder how they get out. Hmm. Is that a way? Hmm. Oh well. Let us take a look at this uh, training field. I test my skill, no? Let us do a little practice. Bow and arrow. Dirty yard. Ah, there we go.
Ah, uh, mon dieu. I am uh, perhaps a bit rusty, no? Ah. The pole arm training, yes, yes. Yvonne knows how to joust. Ah. Mon dieu. This is a big stick. Jump over this, yes. Uh, speak with the trainer. Oh, good day to you, lad. You look like another adventurer who's come to try his chances in these lands. Well, trust my word, you won't be able to survive long here unless you know how to fight yourself out of a tight spot. Eh, yes, thank you for the advice. This place looks like a training field. Maybe I can learn about fighting here, you know? Indeed you can. I'm a veteran warrior. Fought a good deal in the wars in my time, but these days I train young novices in this area. I can find you some opponents to practice with if you like, or if you have any questions about theory of combat, feel free to ask. Uh, yes, I am. Actually, uh, I can move on to practice. Oh, good. It's good to find someone eager to practice. Let's see what we, what you will do. I train novices in four stages, each tougher than the one before. To finish the stage and advance to the next one, you have to win three fights in a row. Your next opponent is a, is a novice fighter. You need to win three more fights in a row to advance to the next stage. Are you ready? Uh, we, I am. Here you go then. Good luck. All right. You get your shot out, Avon. No. Take that. Ah. Bring me another. Good fight. All right. Your cowardly swine. No challenge. Another. Is that all you throw at Avon? Very good, young man. With the Oath's victory, you have advanced to your next level of training. From now on, your opponents will be regular fighters, not the riff-raff of the streets. So be on your toes. I am ready. Uh, 
as this was a little better, but I want more. Take that. Ha! I'm ready for the fight. There we go. That was a good fight. Now, you'll be fighting veteran fighters. Very well, I am ready. Aha. Take that. Bring me another. Again. Take that. They do not even hit him on. Oh, you've got the heart of a champion, lad, and the sword arm to match. From now on, your opponents will be champion fighters. These are the cream of the crop, the finest warriors I have trained. If you can best three of them in a row, you will join the ranks. I am ready. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally! You shed a little blood from Yvonne. Good fight. Bring me another. I am not yet finished. I have defeated him. Another fight. Très bien, young man. You managed to hit me. That was a good fight. It does my heart good to see such a promising talent. You have passed all tiers of training. You can now tell everyone that you have been trained by the master of the field. Uh, thank you, master. I wish you good luck in the tournaments. And don't forget... If you want to practice your sword work at any time, just come say the word. <laughs> uh, way I will. That was a waste of time. Anyway, I will um, come back to you when something uh, interesting happens. Au revoir. Okay, after leaving the training ground, I get this. Thank you for downloading and playing Nova Etis. I strongly advise that you read this text for optimum gameplay. Nova Etis is designed in such a way that it offers many opportunity beside warfare. The game starts with few concept. Further below you are short description to explain the intention of this mod. The intro described the current setting and explained what happened the last year. It also explains the new factions and overall spirit of this era. What's going to happen and why Er Sol Lima is forbidden for Christians. I strongly recommend you read all. Don't forget to save and do multiple slot okay prestige medieval society was divided into classes the lower class uh, works on the land the middle class exists of craftsmen and merchants the higher class earns wealth through trade and rents. 
The nobility own huge amount of land and castle. Prestige in game determines your social position. You start as free man, lowest class of all. It's important for you to remember that the mode is revolved around prestige. If you're part of the lower class, go cut down tree, mine stone, or work on a farm. Escape the pitiful poverty by applying to an apprenticeship at the guild. Work hard and make a masterpiece. Start your own enterprise. This is a way to enter the middle class. As a citizen, you can try to earn more income by setting up enterprises and renting out residences. The nobility class is available for vassals of the monarch. Construct buildings in towns and villages to increase your prestige and get better nobility title. Some people start a colony, but this means you'll become king instantly and have to deal with both town and kingdom management. I advise you to follow the social ladder for a maximum gameplay. Each culture in game has its own unique noble ranks. Become a as to crocodile or a Rodok Baron. Religion. Nova 80s offer five main religion to follow. You can choose a branch such as Calvinism or of Odin as patron god of Norse follower. Uh, the reason why real life religions are used lies in the fact that they have a millennia old spirit which add extreme surpluses to game value. Plus a uh, fictional belief would ultimately be based on a real belief. Choose a religion wisely because converting to Another faith cost you 250 renown. Priests can be accessed at temples at towns. Conquering towns with a different belief will cause uh, religious uniformity to become 25%, giving you only 25% of all income. What does religion have to do with income? Bah! They refuse to pay. <laughs> Religion branches are a uh, work in progress and do currently only serve a visual purpose. Management. There are four type of uh, management in game. Manage a village, rule a town, lead a colony, or prevail over an entire kingdom. Each center has a different style of management, assign farmers, woodcutters, as village owner, construct buildings in the style of um, medieval, and uh, recruit troops in, in towns, place colony buildings manually with keyboard keys, or invest in technology to gain access to 16th century troops. Village management is considered the easiest. Kingdom management the hardest. If you start a colony, you'll need to deal with both kingdom and colony management. This is not advice. I recommend you to start as village owner and try your hand at town management. Then finally, to rule over kingdom for maximum gameplay. <coughs> oh, oh, incredible. Note that if you choose a royal title as king, you'll also choose a culture. Field artillery. Buy cannons at marketplaces and uh, 
They required gunpowder and cannonball. Use up to six cannons in a battle. Cannons have true ballistics, so they are nearly useless in mountainous areas. Siege artillery is not supported due to exploit possibility. Artillery is rare in Caridia, but lords do use them. More information. Check the official thread on Taywords for latest update and pics. It offer access to a full list of features as well. Check Steam for discussion group and mode B for pics. Nova Etis has also its own wiki with additional info about uh, classes and their prestige requirements. Have fun! <laughs> ah, très bien. Très bien. Eh, perhaps I end this with them. Continue. I suppose uh, could force recruit. Ah, uh, looters. I could probably defeat these scum, yes. During this travel, you find lone warrior traveling towards Sargoth. From him, you learn that there is tournament held in the town of King Hakon the Sixth. Ah, interesting. What do you want? Surrender or die? As you wish, prepare to die. This um, scam is no match for Yvonne Duchamp. I will defeat them. For the glory of France! And to take their things. Now. Perhaps I need to be a bit closer, no? Ah, très bien! Take that, you nasty looter. You can't catch me. I'm Yvonne Duchamp. Ah ha ha. Très bien. Take that, you looters. This stand no chance. Perhaps I should have, um, I you say, saved a few of these, no? Ah, well. I shall make them pay for challenging me. Oh, wait. Perhaps I challenge them. Can't catch me, I am on the horse. Good work, horse. Fucking Louis.
Damn you, vagabonds! You know to gr defeat this great explorer! Fight me, but you will not succeed. Ha! You will never defeat Yvonne Duchamp. I am too wily. Ma ma! Look at this impressive yes. yes. I surely do look fearsome. My blade is longer, so I keep that. If perhaps I keep little club to uh, capture a prisoner next time, yes. Très bien. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this um, opening of my adventures. Please like me, give feedback, subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Au revoir.